Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to dynamically uh, create controls uh, in C++ Builder. So uh, let's say that we have this simple application that has nothing but uh, this button on the form. And uh, what I want is when I click this button to uh, dynamically create another button somewhere here. And once I click that button, that it just shows me some message, right? To have some on-click event uh, assigned. So when I click here, uh, first thing I'll do, I'll uh, create a pointer for that new button. And I recommend you do that inside the class uh, because if uh, you are creating a new button, in, in this case, uh, it needs to belong to someone and it's going to belong to this phone one. And I'm not going to put it inside the published because um, uh, here in, on the published, you have components that are uh, created in a designer. So I'll put it in a public uh, place here and I'll just call it my button. Okay. And now when I click button one, I'm going to dynamically uh, create uh, my new button. Say my button is new uh, T button. And this, uh, this keyword in this case, um, specifies the owner of the control. And uh, since we are in a T form one class, meaning that this my button here uh, belongs to uh, form one, uh, which also means that once form one is going to be destroyed, uh, it will also deallocate uh, this pointer here. So we don't need to specify delete uh, on this pointer, but we also need to specify my button. A parent is this. Uh, we, don't, we need to specify this uh, so that uh, our button would be visibly shown on uh, form one in this case. And we also need to specify uh, coordinates, say something like this, left uh, top uh, width and height. Okay, and I will also specify a caption. Say click me. Okay, so now let's run this. And here we have uh, our initial form. And when I click this button, now I have another button created, which is this one. And uh, when I click it, of course, nothing happens. So let's see how to add events to dynamically created controls uh, or components. So first of all, I will create another um, method inside the T4 class that will be uh, in charge of uh, uh, dealing with on-click event for our new button. I'll call it my button click. Okay. And I will uh, create its implementation manually in the CPP file. And I will simply specify here Okay, and now when we have uh, the method for our uh, on-click event, we need to uh, specify here to say uh, on-click is this. So I'm saying here when I, it's uh, my button. So if uh, my button is clicked, I'm going to execute the my button click method, which will show a uh, message, hello world. And now let's run it. And uh, I click the button, a new button is uh, created. I click that button. I have one click event, uh, which uh, showed uh, this message, right? And that's how it's done. Uh, and that's the same principle on any other, any other component. Uh, but usually what you want is to create um, more components. So let's say a larger number of components. Let, let's say that we have uh, uh, 100 buttons that we want to create. So I already prepared an example to examine here. So we have this uh, form, which is empty. But when I run the application, uh, it shows 100 buttons. Okay, 
uh, and it, it's kind of fast and hard uh, to even um, manually do this in the designer so maybe in this case it's even faster to do it dynamically and uh, if I click on any of those buttons it will uh, show a message with the caption of that button so how is done let's see the code here and this is the entire code so first of all I'll go inside the header and uh, uh, this is the important declaration so uh, as in the first case when we created one button then I'll just remind you here then we had a button my button pointer so it's one pointer meaning one control uh, but since we are having uh, more controls then it's array of controls uh, so it's a double pointer so the first thing is to uh, dynamically uh, allocate that uh, array of button pointers in this case I'm saying I'll have 100 buttons and for each of those buttons here uh, I'm creating a new button I'm specifying that its parent is uh, form 1 of this window I'm specifying with height left top caption and I'm specifying on click method uh, grid button uh, click and uh, that method will uh, show the caption of uh, uh, the T button control that uh, has been clicked and uh, as I specified uh, this keyboard here says who is the owner of that control uh, which is the form one so you don't need to manually deallocate this button uh, each of those 100 buttons but what you need to uh, manually deallocate is uh, this set of 100 T button pointers and uh, here you can use form close form and destroy uh, or uh, something similar right so uh, like I said, if I run this, uh, now everything uh, uh, works as intended. And of course, we can change uh, change it a bit. So let's say 60, 30. And it looks like this. And that's how it's done. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.